everybody, I'm Becky Adams. Thank you for stopping by the Scrapbook and Cards Today YouTube channel. Today I am creating a layout that is featured in the fall and winter 2024 issue of Scrapbook and Cards Today magazine. And I am using the Simple Stories Cider and Donuts collection. And I'm just flipping through this collection to show you how cute it is and some of the fun pattern papers. Most of the pattern papers that I will be using today are coming from the 6x8 paper pad. And the theme of this layout, kind of the challenge I was given, was to create a design with circles. Immediately when I think of circles, I always think of circle punches. So I went into my stash of punches and grabbed a few circle punches from various manufacturers in various sizes. And I just punched out a whole bunch of circles from that six by eight paper pad. So I'm thinking that I want kind of a, a vertical line of circles. So I'm taking these circles that I punched from the paper pad using the punches and just kind of placing them on the layout, on that kind of a vertical line on the left side of the layout. And I'm layering some of them on top of one another. Some of them are just single layer. And I'm just trying to create that fun circle design to surround my photo. So it takes me just a few minutes to get those circles placed exactly where I want them. But once I have kind of a plan in my head of where I want those circles to go, I take a little bit of adhesive and I'm using just a tape runner adhesive from scrapbook.com here and using it to place those circles. I'm not worrying a ton about getting those circles adhered really, really well at this point. I'm using just a little bit of adhesive there in the middle because I am gonna come back and hand stitch around each of those circles using um, needle and some embroidery thread. So again, I'm just placing those and I am keeping in mind when I'm layering those that I am gonna come back and hand stitch. So I just use, or I'm, I'm watching, I guess, to make sure that I'm leaving enough room for my hand stitching. And of course, well, you're right in the middle of the project, isn't that when you always run out of adhesive? So we have to pause for just a minute to take a quick a second and refill my tape runner adhesive. Um, this tape runner from scrapbook.com is super easy to refill. So it takes just a second or two and then we keep going. And again, just adding a little bit of adhesive and as you can see, my photo is not attached yet. I'm leaving that um, kind of till um, the end so that um, I know exactly where I wanna place my circles. So we'll just get those last few circles placed. This is a really fun and easy design to work with, especially if you sit down at your desk and you know that you wanna create something but you're not exactly sure you know where to start what you want to do I love grabbing grabbing a paper pad and some punches and just getting to work and circles are a really fun way to kind of shake up your design you know often we get stuck in that rut of all the straight edges when we're scrapbooking and it's fun to shake things up and add a circle or several in this case every now and then so I have this photo that I've printed at three and a half by five of my husband and I. This was a photo that we uh, took together last fall. And I'm just placing that right in the middle of my circles. Some of you might be wondering why I didn't stitch around my circles before I started this. And one, I didn't wanna create the bulk behind my photos. And two, I just wanted to save time. I knew I was gonna be doing a lot of layering, adding my photos on top of, or adding my photo, excuse me, on top of those circles. 
And had I stitched around each of them individually and then placed them, I would have done a lot of hand stitching that would have been covered up either by other circles or uh, my photo. So now I have that vertical circle design and I wanna bring in uh, my title, journaling, and a few embellishments that goes horizontally across the page. And you'll notice the combination of those circles that go vertically and the title and soon to be journaling strips that go horizontally. Just bring your eye right to that main focus of the layout, which I always want to be my photo. So I jumped back into uh, the products from the Cider and Donuts collection, and I'm just playing around with a few elements, um, I guess a few embellishments that I wanted to play with. The flowers in this collection are so cute, and they're all over, whether you want, you know, die cuts or foam stickers or chipboard. Um, there's tons of flowers to play with. So I'm adding a few... A uh, few flower embellishments and then the title for this layout is just cozy days this is a foam sticker from the foam sticker set in the cider and donuts collection I'm using a few foam squares from scrapbook adhesives by 3L they are my favorite um, scrapbook or I guess adhesive squares foam squares and I'm putting those on the edges of some of the leaves so that I can pop those up and give them just a little bit of a little bit of dimension. Right now, everything's pretty flat on this layout. Um, I don't have, you know, a lot of dimension other than a couple, you know, layers of paper. So I wanted to bring in that dimension, and then I'll also add even more dimension when I go in and do some hand stitching around those circles. So after adding um, a bit of foam adhesive behind those embellishments, I'm just showing you where I have um, like kind of the space that I want to save for my journaling. I'll add that in here in a little bit, um, but I want to make sure and kind of have it in my head where I'm going to put my journaling so that I don't get carried away with embellishments and add and take up all the space for my journaling, which has happened on occasion, but I try really hard to make sure that I have space to add journaling to all of my layouts. So I have the chipboard stickers from the Cider and Donuts collection, and I'm just going through those to see if there are any um, leaves or you know little bits of greenery that I can add to this layout and just tucking them in the two embellishment clusters that I have going right now, one in the top right of the photo and the other one in the bottom left. I love this cute little kind of a minty pumpkin. Uh, I go back and forth as to whether I want that to go on the page and I think ultimately it did not make it onto this layout, but don't worry, I will have it and we'll be sure to use it on another project. Another way I like to go and just kind of um, check for the last few little bits to that I wanna add to a layout, I always reach for the 12 by 12 sticker sheet. Um, I can always find a little, little sticker to tuck in here and there and I believe I can find a couple of word strips that I like and then a cute little heart there to go above the title. Their word strips, st Simple Stories word strips st stickers are some of my favorite. It's a great way to add a, you know, a little bit more of even a subtitle or just kind of emphasize the theme of the page a little bit more with those cute little stickers. So I have just a couple little word phrase stickers that I added to the top of the page there. I guess not the top of the page, but above the title. And I'm playing with them just a little bit to make sure that I have them straight. It's a little bit tricky to get things straight when, you know, the plaid on the background, or I guess the kind of grid on the background, isn't exactly straight. It's a little bit wonky. 
So I have to use uh, my T-square ruler to just make sure that I have those um, sticker strips straight. Of course, that's personal preference, but it does take me a minute to get those um, those stickers exactly where I want them. I love my T-square ruler. It's on my desk at all times and I pull it out often. So after getting those two stickers in place, I'm going back and checking for other stickers. I found that cute little red heart that I thought was um, kind of the perfect finishing touch for um, from that sticker sheet. And then last but not least, I want to add a few more circles. So I reached for my adhesive brads. I love that brads come with adhesive on the back of on the back these days. There's no more poking holes and you know poking your finger. At least I always poked my finger when I was trying to place an actual brad. So I love that they've got that little bit of foam foam adhesive on the back. Gives the layout a little bit of dimension and then they're a little bit shiny so it really catches um, your attention when you see those um, shiny brads on the layout. Okay, so after that I take um, just a few enamel dots. What, I mean, you got to have a few more circles, right? So I just did some tone on tone um, embellishing with those uh, brads and then here's a look at the layout after I got the journaling added and that hand stitching. The hand stitching adds such a beautiful finishing touch to this layout and you can see that here in the final shot. So thank you so much for stopping by the Scrapbook and Cards Today YouTube channel. I hope you'll take some time and read the fall and winter issue. I know that you'll find inspiration in there. And thank you again for stopping by and I'll see you again soon.